the column has left the zone. Go for it. Understood. Air, working on the lead and trailing. Fire the rockets along the column when it stops. Over. Roger that. Core centered. Over. Hello friends, we're proud to announce the arrival of update 1.91, Night Vision. It brings night vision devices and thermal sights, even more dangerous rotocraft, and Chinese tanks and aircraft. Yep, that's right. China is the latest nation to be added to War Thunder. There are tons of exciting new vehicles and many, many bug fixes as well. Come on, let's dive in. Ground vehicles and helicopters will get image intensifying night vision devices and thermal sights. Obviously, only when it's historically applicable. Image intensifiers operate by amplifying reflected or radiated light. Sometimes they come with an infrared headlamp, allowing you to illuminate an area to see your target clearly, while still remaining in the shadows. Night vision devices with a thermal imaging type of action detect thermal radiation emitted by an operating vehicle. Those can be useful even in broad daylight. If an enemy tank moves or fires, its gun, engine area and tracks can then be easily spotted with your thermal sights. Furthermore, if you're fond of fighting at night time, you're in for a real treat. At high BRs, the number of night battles will increase, allowing for a more varied gameplay. Now, a few words about new vehicles. Say hi to the legendary MiG-21, one of the most well-known supersonic jet aircraft in the world. If somebody says MiG, just MiG, that's probably the aircraft you're going to think of with its distinct elliptical profile and the Delta Wing. This aircraft can reach the speed of up to 1,300 kilometers per hour near the ground. It's armed with a powerful 30 millimeter auto cannon and has access to a multitude of payload options. Meanwhile, on the other side of the pond, there's a strong new contender, the McDonnell Douglas F-4, also known as the Phantom II. Its twin-engine configuration allows to compete with the Soviet MiGs and it has enough payload options to put a proper strike aircraft to shame. These means of destruction are at your disposal. Just look at all that splendor! Another interesting newcomer is the Eurocopter Tiger, which came to being through a joint Franco-German development project. It's a modern attack helicopter that has access to a wide variety of air-to-surface and air-to-air -air missiles. It's outfitted with bleeding-edge avionics and armed with a quick-firing 30mm cannon. Furthermore, with its excellent maneuverability and a very lean profile, it's not an easy target to take down. If you prefer ground battles, there is an exciting new option for taking these pesky flyers down a peg or two. Meet the SIDAM 25 Mistral, a new Italian SPAA system. In addition to four 25mm Orlicons, it is also equipped with Mistral missiles, an excellent fire-and-forget type weapon. Its passive infrared homing head allows you to destroy targets of a distance of up to five kilometers. There are also really big ships. Admiral Hipper, the first German heavy cruiser in the game, sets sail from its dock. As of now, this will be the biggest vessel of War Thunder. It displaces more than 18,000 tons and is more than 200 meters long. This behemoth features eight 203mm cannons as its main caliber, almost 30 additional AA cannons and machine guns, and 12 torpedoes to boot. Other countries will get new, bigger ships as well. There is also a new nation coming to War Thunder. You've been trying to determine the game's next nation for at least a few months now. 
Leave a like if you are right. It's China that is bringing its armies to War Thunder. You will see different variants of the legendary Type 59, and the tree will feature a 50-ton CM-11 tank hybrid as a top Chinese MBT. This tank is built around the chassis of the M60A3, armed with a stabilized 105mm cannon and equipped with ERA packages allowing it to thrive in high-level battles. And it's not just ground vehicles that we're talking about. China also has a full-fledged aircraft tech tree with the multi-role J-7 fighter, which is a license-built version of the Soviet MiG-21, coming into the game as the tree's top predator. It's nice to be able to play with new vehicles and new locations. So with update 1.91, we introduce three new maps at once. For starters, we give you an extremely big ground battles location called Cargo Port. Visualize two Alaskas. Well, that's about the right size. You might think that a map that big would be mostly barren, <laughs> but you'd be wrong. Countless port facilities create a very diverse landscape, enabling all sorts of playstyles. Next up is Palau Islands, a location for naval battles with a small archipelago right in the center. This map has it all. Big vessels have all the room they need for long-range duels. All the while, more agile torpedo boats and destroyers get a labyrinth of islands to play in. Finally, there is Japanese port, yet another naval location. Tactically speaking, it's almost symmetrical, with smaller vessels fighting for the northern cap point in the bay, the center zone surrounded by islands, and the third zone, which is the furthest from the shore, forcing you to fight in the open. Even with all that sea action, we're pretty sure that it'd be really hard not to notice the beauty of that shore, though with all the sakura trees in full bloom. We also implemented a feature that you requested under nearly every shooting range. The game now has a map filtering tool, allowing you to mark the maps you don't like. If the majority of players from the matching queue have the same mission or location marked as unwanted, they will get reduced chances of getting a game on that map. Furthermore, players with premium accounts can completely remove specific missions or locations from rotation. Obviously, that's just a part of a long list of changes that Update 1.91 brings to the game. The full list can be found at our official site. We're also going to discuss many new features and vehicles in the upcoming videos on this very channel. So stay tuned. See you in battle then. Take a look at all the things coming to War Thunder with the update with your own eyes. And tell us what you think in the comments and stay with us. There are a lot of exciting things yet to come.